Hey there guys, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a dang thumbnail. So before we get into this video, make sure to leave a like. Boring! Never mind the intro, this video is going to be epic. So let's get straight into it. Okay, before making an epic thumbnail, you must download some images. Like, main things are your character. I play Valorant, so I'm just going to go find some character from Valorant, like by example this one. How do you know if its background is transparent? When you're looking for images, you look here, if the background is white, behind it, here, and when you click on it, it has like this checkerboard background behind it, that means it's transparent. The background, you would usually want a background of your video game, but since games like Valorant are really recent so they don't have like good background, so what I would suggest doing is since everybody likes space, space is cool, you just find an image of space. And that's it. The most important things in a gaming meme thumbnail are anime stuff. Because anime equals cool. First of all, there's this laser eye effect, which is called the lens flare. Anime speed lines, and many more effects. I'll leave a link down below for all of these effects. Also, make sure to go on the font.com to go and download yourselves one chunky font. Once you open up Photoshop, this screen should pop up. Then, to start a new project, you must click on Create New. Once this magnificent tab pops up, make sure to give an amazing name to your project. Set the width to 1280 pixels and the height to 720 pixels. Next step would be to drag and drop all of your photos into your Photoshop. Wow. Make sure to put all of your photos on not visible and you only keep your background. Then you press shift and you scale it up to the size of the canvas. Now, this is too boring. Every single thumbnail must be intense. So you, you go to filter, you go to blur, and you go to radial blur. Set the amount to 10 and copy the rest of the settings. <laughs> the scale of your background might have shrinked a little, so you just scale it back up. Have a great epic background. Resize and place your character wherever you want. Now it's time for some dank lens flares. Next, you want to go to this button which says normal and click on screen. Oh my god! Now resize your lens flare however you want and place it on your character's eye. Then you can see control V for the second one. Place the other one and... Now it's time for the anime line. You repeat the previous steps and you put them on screen. Then you put them under your character but because it looks much better. Now you put your lightning. Lightning, you put it under your character and under the speed lines because uh, there's something else we're gonna do with the lightning. We're gonna change its hue. Now click on the hue box and check the colorize box. Then change the color to whatever you want and merge the hue and saturation layer with your lightning layer. Afterwards, just click on screen again. But King Sinai here he asked, how to remove a background from an image with a background if I haven't found an image that is backgroundless. It's very easy. You select the magic wand tool and you click on the white background. You need to control alt plus R and this should pop up. Click invert. Now change the output to new layer. Wahoo! Now is the time for some titles. It isn't that important, so you can just leave off right now. Or you could get some juicy clickbait. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy. Alright, select the type tool and type whatever you want. Resize them and reposition them. Change your title's color to white. Double click the layer of your title and bring this up. Check the outer glow box. Put opacity to 100, noise to 0, spread to 0, size make it bigger or smaller depending on the size of the text. In this case, I'm gonna keep it at like around 10. What yinks can I hear you ask? How do I copy the effects from one layer to another layer? Because I'm lazy. There's always a solution. You click on that little arrow and you bring down the effects tab. You can see what effects you have on this layer. Then you press alt when you're pressing the effect. And then you drag the effects to your other layer. To export, you go on file and you click on export. You choose export as. When this pops up, check if your width is 1280p and height is 720 pixels. If it's good, then just click export. 
Now if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to share this video with other content creators so they can learn how to make thumbnails and make sure to leave a like and subscribe.